Through this building, we're able to get an idea, in some ways, of who Amaza Lee Meredith was. She's documented as one of the first female LGBTQ African-American architects living here with her partner. That she was allowed to build a property on campus is amazing. In the 30s, to lead our fine arts department, to be an architect, to do things that many African-Americans and many women didn't have the opportunity to do. She was clearly a very bold woman. And to now be recognized is fantastic. We're drawing it from the past into the present and into the future. And so now our students get a chance to see that vision. The partnership with Benjamin and National Trust reignited what this building means. I am thrilled that Benjamin Moore took this opportunity to help us preserve this historic place so that it can be here for the long haul, for students to come and see, for us to have this as a part of our history, that this hidden figure here on our campus now is getting the notoriety that she deserves. It had this chipping paint, it looked dilapidated. I'm amazed at how beautiful the restoration is. To have that be done with some coats of paint and Benjamin Moore making this contribution speaks volumes to their work in our communities. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. When you look at the house from the outside, just that bold blue, it sticks out. Adding that pop of color shows who she is and the light that she shares. As a student myself, a black woman myself, you stand on this ground and you take in the energy of those who come before you. So oftentimes you don't feel like you'll fail here because so many women have created a path for success for you. That coat of paint brings her legacy back to life. And now it's our job to keep it going and to share it with the community, share it with our students. It just shows that they value our communities, they value historic sites, and want to see them back to their heyday. It's not just the Little White House to me anymore. It's Ezra South, the history of Amaz will live on, and I'm glad to be part of this moment in time to bring her back to the forefront of what's going on today.